What's up everyone? It's your trainer Sydney Hattershell and this is your 40 minute lower abs, arms and cardio workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to our upper body and abs and cardio workout. I'm so excited to get into this with you today. We're going to be targeting the biceps, the triceps, your core muscles and getting your heart rate up with a little bit of cardio. I am going to show you ways to dial it up and take a lower impact option for the cardio. So wherever you're at today, don't come into this thinking, oh, I can't do cardio. We're going to do things that you can dial all the way up to your intensity or dial it back when and if you need to. The dumbbells that I'm going to be using will be heavy enough for a challenging overhead tricep extension. So somewhere around 20 30 pounds for myself all the way down to supinated curls which will be around 15 pounds to 20 pounds for myself lower abs will be mostly body weight grab your water grab your sweat towel and if I'm if you're ready I'm ready let's get started with your warm-up big crossover <laughs> in three two one let's go <laughs> Big thank you to everyone who grabbed any sort of apparel yesterday from our Royal Change launch. We had an amazing day and there's still a lot of stuff left. So if you're interested in sports bras and leggings and shorts, sweat towels, so many good things, jump robes, check out the website in the description below. Take your left arm, cross and open. Great job. And if you did grab something, let me know in the comments what you grabbed. I'm looking forward to seeing all these pieces on your body. Switch arms. Nice bright colors. And then we had some black pieces as well. Great to pair up, great to mix and match. And I just hope they make you feel incredible when you work out, when you move and live in them. All right, take your arms back and overhead. Got a really fun workout for you today. A lot of different formats, a lot of different groupings. We're gonna have upper body, lower body, and core in some. Some that are all upper body, some that are all core, some cardio. So a lot of great mixes today. Come on down, let's walk it in and out for four inch worms. Take it out, plank, take it back in. Last one, exhale, pull your ribs in. Stay out there in your plank. Great job. Get your core engaged. There you go. Step up right outside of your hand, tapping left and right. Drop your hip each time so you open up the hips. Two more. One and two. Good job. Walk it back. And as you walk back, let's take it up to a little butt kick. Come back up to standing with the cardio today. We haven't done cardio in a while. We did the Arise program. This is Arise level two. The entire Arise program was just strength training. So I'm slowly just adding a little bit in. Good job. Let's speed that up just a little bit if you can. Great job right here. Jumping jacks. There you go, side to side. Beautiful, four, three, two, one. Stay jogging in place. I wanna show you your first three moves. All right, we've got hammer curls right here. So we're gonna alternate 40 seconds here, 45, right into skater hops. So you're tapping over right into leg raises on the floor. Grab your dumbbells, let's go. Three, two. All right, alternate. Great job. Make sure you're not lifting your elbows out. Make sure you're not getting just a little bit here and then scooping them up and under. Good job. Make sure you're feeling this also on the way down so you don't curl and then just drop it. Curl, slow release, and at the same time, pull the other one. Last one, two, one, and rest. Skater hops, you can take it low impact just by stepping and tapping, okay? 
So if you need to go low impact, that's your option. Just keep the intensity up. If you can hop, hop over. Most advanced, you're gonna hop and float. Let's go. There you go, use your arms. Make sure you're not just holding them here. Okay, opposite arm is out front from your leg, just like if you were running. There you go, turn it up a little bit more. We've got 15 seconds, let's go. Then you're gonna lay down. Six, good job, five, four, two, one. All right, take one dumbbell or your water bottle on the ground, you're gonna lift your legs up and over. Tougher part, straight legs. If you need to modify, bent legs, here. Okay, keep pulling your hips back this way. Let's go. There you go. When you lift, if your hips roll forward in this anterior position, abs are relaxed. I need you to make them neutral, okay? Good job, breathe out, go. Three, two, one. All right, come on up. Let's grab a heavier set of dumbbells. You only have two rounds through everything. So increase your weights if you are able. If your form will allow it. If you're not there yet, just give me a good tempo. Let's go, two, one. Nice job, squeeze, release. Great work, elbows staying pointed towards the floor. Just make sure you don't scoop and tuck, okay? Nice, come on, come on. 10 more seconds. Last one, two, one, rest. Great job. All right, back to curtsy hops or skater hops. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, high intensity, let's move. Good job, come on, breathe. 15 seconds down. Turn it up a little bit more. Push, 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 side to side. 15 seconds, get low, let's move. Push, push, push. Eight seconds. Two, one, great job. <laughs> Lifting your legs over top the dumbbell or the water bottle, whatever you have. Remember, don't let your hips go here. Keep them exhaled, <sighs> braced. Lean back just a little, let's go. Come on, good, straight legs if you can. If you're able, lock them out, exhale. Good job, keep going for 10. Five, good, four, one more, three, two, one, and rest. Overhead tricep skull crushers. We're laying down on the mat, okay? 
You've got one or two dumbbells. They're here, all right? Taking it overhead and extend. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, come on. Good job. And if you're using two, which I moved right into this to kind of challenge you to use two dumbbells, you're working on stabilization in your shoulder so that your elbows don't fling side to side. Okay, control it down, extend right back up. Good job. Give me 10 more seconds, you're doing great. Then we're gonna flip over. Three, two, one, and rest. And if you got started just a little bit late there, go a couple more reps. We're just flipping over for mountain climbers, okay? Options, low impact. You can take it here to an incline. If you're ready to advance from there, take it to the floor. If you're ready to advance from there, speed it up. Let's go. Good, make sure your hips aren't up in the air. Belly button's not reaching to the floor, it's pulled into your spine. Good work. Remember, only two rounds of everything. So we've gotta go. 15 second sprint, let's go. Good job. Come on, four, three, two, one. Flip back to your back. Reverse crunches, okay? Support your head with your hands. You're crunched up here. Heels tap and you lift. Tap, lift. If you need to modify, it's one leg at a time. Ready? Let's go. Slowly reach away and then pull. Good job, good job. Good, exhale. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Great job, one more, boom. All right. Overhead extensions, laying down. If you wanna go two dumbbells, let's do it. If you wanna go one, grab it. Dumbbells up, here we go. Three, two, one, come on. Slant it back just a little bit on that lockout. Good job, your tricep, its only job is to straighten the elbow, okay? Get it back to that point of lockout. Good squeeze. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Five. Three. Two. Rest. Great job. All right, mountain climbers, if you need to go up onto the bench, let's go there. I'm with you wherever you're at, we're working hard together. Three, two, one, mountain climbers, let's rock. Good. Hear my breath, inhale, exhale. Good, keep it rocking. Move, move, get your heart rate up. 15 second sprint. Three, two, one, rest, reverse crunches. Keep the crunch, just pull your 
Heels tap the ground and then up. You're doing great. Support the head, crunch, ready? Let's go. Good, and then you can touch your heels together, open your knees up a little bit. You can keep them straight. The main work is gonna be when you're lifting your legs away from you, or when you're lowering them, I should say. And if you need to modify, it's one touch. One touch. Five, three, two, one, rest. Good job. All right, jog in place for me. We've got a 30 second rest, and our next circuit is four exercises, all upper body, okay? Two curls and two tricep moves. So, we've got supinated curls here, okay? And then we're gonna go alternating. So we're gonna cross, alternate. After that, tricep overhead. After that, kickbacks, all right? Curls, let's go in two. One, regular supinated right here. Good job. All upper body here. Nice tall spine. Great job, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Rest for 15. Next one, just to review. You're going right here, hammer to supinate it. So neutral, and then you open your palm up as you cross into the midline of your body. Alternating. Three, two, one, exhale. You can take just a little bit of a hinge to kind of keep it right out in front of you. Good job. The internal rotation of your pinky in this way, really great for making sure you're predominantly using bicep. You'll use a little bit of synergistic muscles, the helper muscles, but this little rotation inwards, it's a really great isolating movement to help the bicep do the work. Five, three, two, one, and rest. We go up into overhead tricep extension. Remember, just two rounds of everything. So really push it here. Four, three, two, let's go. Good stretch, good extension. Great work, exhale. Feel the stretch, full extension. Good, pick up the pace just a little bit. If your form feels good. Three, two, one, and rest. Your lightest weight of the day will be for this exercise. Tricep kickbacks, you're hinging. Alternating right here. Whew. Great job. Here we go. Bent knees. Exhale. Two, one. Come on. Make sure the weight is in your heels so you're not rounded here. Okay, nice strong back. Something you don't think about when doing tricep kickbacks is that your back muscles have to be turned on. So when you're rounded here and they're kind of stretched, they're not activated, it's kind of hard to get to a full extension with much range of motion. So keep your back muscles strong. And you'll feel your tricep 
a little bit more. Seven. Good, four, three, two, one, and we're back to the top. If you can advance any of those weights, we're going back, supinated curls, alternating curls, tricep overhead, tricep kickback. Let's go, three, two, one, come on. Good job. Beautiful work. Seven, six, three, two, one. Last one, rest. Good job. We take it neutral now with the internal rotation. Start here, pull in here. I want you to step it up this round. When you start to lower one arm, I want you to start to curl the other. A Little bit less rest in between reps. Let's go. Great work, come on. Breathe, chest up. Keep the breathing going, 15. Seven. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Two tricep moves. Go a little heavier if you can on the overhead extension. <sighs> Hands up, come on. You're doing great. Three, exhale, two, one, stretch, flex. <sighs> Control the lower. <sighs> Core is strong, right? You're not going here, opening up your ribs. Keep them neutral, stacked over the hips. Whew. 15, come on, come on, let's go. Six, good job, five, three, two, ah, rest. Good job, feel it a little bit in the shoulders too from working hard to make sure they're stable. Kickbacks, last round. Three, two, one, let's go. Hinge. Back muscles are strong, glutes are turned on. Good job, come on. Last 15, you're doing amazing. Push, push, push. Let's close out the arm work here before we move into core. Five, four, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. And we're moving on. Come on down to the mat. Lower ab focus just means we're working on the kind of neutral hold in your pelvis. But if you want to over exaggerate, think about a posterior rotation instead of an anterior. So you're pulling hips towards your ribs, okay? Think of this position the entire time, like someone has a rope on your hips, pulling it up over your shoulders, okay? So lay it down. We're gonna go hip lifts, okay? Exercise one in 10 seconds. Hands are here. You can go two legs or if you need to do a bent, go bent leg, roll up, roll up. Two, one, let's go. 
Think heels to the ceiling. Another thing you can do is hold onto something overhead. Keep your ribs kind of pulled down towards the floor. With the overhead position, it's easy to kind of open up the ribs. Keep them melted to the ground. And exhale. Seven. Three, two, one. Bring your hips back to the ground. Hands are right beside or under your tailbone. You're gonna lower your legs just a bit. Crisscross, over and under. In order to modify, you're gonna bend it. Take one leg, cross over and reach. Ready? Let's go. Cross, cross. Same thing, keep your ribs melted down towards the floor. If they open up, your abs are stretched and relaxed. We need them active. Deep core muscles are working to keep the pelvis and the ribs in line. The lower you go with this one, the tougher it is. So judge where you're at and push yourself there. Good, keep your lower back melted to the floor. Exhale. 10. Three, two, one, rest. Next one, flutters. Point your toes. You're gonna drop it about 45 degrees. Keep your legs flexed. You can either point or flex. Dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, either one. Keep your legs nice and strong. Ready? Let's go. Same thing here. The lower you go, the tougher it is. Great job, 10 more seconds, come on. Three, two, one. Your last one is an isometric move, a static hold, okay? The idea is to be six inches off the floor. If you're not there yet, bent leg, 90 degree hold, okay? Hold here, three, two, one, let's go. Good job, make sure you're not pulling on your neck. Your neck doesn't even have to be off the ground. Hold, 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 embrace the shake if you're feeling it. If you're feeling this mainly in your hip flexors, they have to get stronger, but make sure you pull back just a little bit more here. Lift it up just a little bit more and think about pulling your abs down into the ground. Eight, seven, Three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest, you do that one more time. Whew. We're gonna take the brakes out of it because it's the last part of the workout and we've got cardio left, so no rest throughout. Here we go. Three, two, one, up. If you're going straight leg, drive your heels to the sky. Make sure you're not swinging back and then up. Heels straight up from your hips to the sky. Seven seconds, you go crisscross. Five, three, two, one. Take it to the ground. Right here, let's go. Melt your ribs to the floor. There's no need to go any lower than you can keep good form. Oh, 
good job, good job, come on. 15 more seconds, rock it out, then we're gonna go into our flutters. Four, flutter, three, two, one, chop it out, come on. Ribs melted to the ground. And you can go fast if you're ready for that. Okay, so if you go a little bit right here, just make sure your abs aren't pushing up to the sky. They're braced. Great work, Woo. come on. 10. Five seconds, you're going into an isometric hold. Three, two, one, let's go. If you bend your legs, it becomes a little bit less heavy for your lower abs, so bend them if you need to. Keep them straight if you can. about blowing out through a straw. Fifteen more seconds. Come on, stay strong. Stay strong. Hold, hold, hold. Can you go a little lower for five? Four, three, two, one, and rest. We're going to finish it out with a cardio circuit. Whew. So grab water. Great job, <laughs> no uh, dumbbells needed for this one. Oh. Lateral agility, so if you do wanna grab dumbbells to hop over, you can do that. <sighs> grab water. Three stations here, left, right, middle. So you're hopping in, freeze, hop in, freeze. Let's go in four, step it out if you need to. Two, one, move it side to side, let's go. This is your chance to turn the knob up to full max intensity, okay? I can move like this. This is my max intensity for today. I can move like crazy wherever you're at today, all the way up. Fifteen, a little quicker, come on. One, and rest. Great job. Whew. We're gonna go kicks forward. You're in the middle of your mat. Punch, opposite arm towards that foot. If you can hop, you're here. Okay, if you're not ready for the hop, give me that intensity. Let's go. If you're really feeling it, boom, 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 okay? Go to where you're challenged. Come on, we're getting back into it. Woo. Think knee, heel, knee, heel. So make sure you're not just swinging a straight leg. 10, nine. That's it, three, two. I'll give you a guess what the last move is, cardio. It's a burpee. We're gonna add a push up in if you can because it's an upper body workout day. So jump or step back. Push up on your hands or on your knees. Jump or step up to the sky. Three, two, one, let's go. Stay with me, you got nine, eight. 
One more, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. No rest in the last round. All the way through, 45 of all four. Lateral agility, we go in five. Two, one, come on. Work your arms, don't hold them here. Five seconds, you go into that kick. Three, two, right here. Hop if you can, come on. Good. Woo. 30 seconds. You know what's next? Last round. Let's go. Come on, step it up however you can. Tight core, tight legs, tight glutes. We're gonna go for one minute here. One full minute. Keep it up, keep it up. Exhale. Keep moving, 30 more seconds. You got it. Good job, good job. Eight, seven. Come on down to the ground, finish four. Three, lay it on your mat right here. Two, one, and we hold. 60 seconds and you are done. Listen to the command, okay? Hold here. Good. Drop your left leg up and down. Stay with me. Right leg up and down. Left leg twice. Right leg three times. Good. Bend and extend. You're gonna tuck and reach. Tuck and reach, 30 seconds. Good, flutter, 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 flutter. Hold it out there, flutter. Good, reach your arms up to the sky. Crunch high and flutter. 15, reach higher, reach higher. Go, 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 flutter, keep it tight. Reach diagonal to the sky, four. Two, one, and you've made it to your cool down. Stay right here. Roll over onto your stomach. Whew. Amazing, amazing job. Before you head out, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up to lock it in that you crushed it. Let's cool it down. I got two more minutes left with you in this workout today, and then you're on your way. Whew. If you haven't checked out a Royal Change Apparel launch, all that's in the description below, as well as your Arise Level 2 calendar. So if you need to know the days that the new workouts are being uploaded, days that you're gonna select previously recorded workouts that I've selected for you that you're gonna do, lift your hips up, heels down, walk it back. Just make sure you grab that calendar so you can follow along to the full month's program. Arise level two, we're stepping it up. And it's up to you outside of here to say, what am I gonna do different this month that I don't normally do for myself? Bend your legs, roll it up to the top, great job. Hands on your hips, exhale, reach forward just a little with your hips. What are you gonna do different this month? We're always thinking about, oh, I need to get back on track. Hands up overhead, pull to the right. We're thinking about how can I make my weekends a time where I don't go off track or how can I get back on track after X, Y, and Z? What are you gonna do different before 
to prepare, switch sides. Instead of thinking, okay, I'm gonna put myself in the same situations, I'm gonna lack preparation, and I'm gonna try and make different choices in those circumstances, how about we think about it ahead of time? Open and cross. Instead of saying, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna buy the same groceries, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna run out of food, and then I'm gonna go out to restaurants and try my best to not get off track, let's think ahead of time. Get some food that you're gonna be willing to eat, quick to cook, over the weekend. Start your hydration early. <sighs> Take it wide. Think ahead of time. Don't be so reactive. What are the times that you normally quote unquote fall off track? Or what are the times, what are the areas of your life that you need to finally say, you know what, no more excuses. I'm gonna be ahead of the game. I'm gonna be, put myself in front of what I deem as my problem area and say, if I were to not give myself any excuses at all, what would it look like? Open your fingertips down here. If you were to hold someone else accountable, put yourself in a trainer's perspective. And someone came to you and said, you know what, I need your help. I am so tired of falling off on the weekends. I'm so tired of trying to get back on track on Monday. I need you to hold me accountable. And they come to you with an excuse like, well, I went out of town or my friend invited me here. What would you say to them? Aside from being aware that everyone needs a little bit of guidance, a little bit of empathy, because we're all in it together, what would you tell them to get them around their excuses? Say, okay, you know what? I knew that I was going out this weekend. I could have eaten a better breakfast. I could have packed a snack. I could have started my day in a healthy way. I could have made a better choice at the restaurant by looking at the menu ahead of time. Be proactive. If you were to hold yourself accountable, just like a trainer, just like a coach, what would you tell yourself? Okay, and now move forward with that mindset. You're not inferior to anyone here, okay? I am just doing the same thing as you. I'm on the other side of the camera, but we're both trying to stay on track. We're both trying to do our best. So let's flip the roles, okay? Put yourself in a trainer's perspective and train yourself. And say, you know what? No more excuses, I can do this. Think ahead of the game, think proactively, and believe in your ability to actually follow through and keep promises to yourself. I'll see you back here for our next workout. Check out everything in the description below. Hold that promise to yourself. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you back here for our next one. Great job.